So hey guys, it's me Charlie, and this is my seventh month video on testosterone. Um, I know it's been a little while since I've done an update. I'm sorry, there's been a lot of crazy hectic stuff in my life where um, with moving, I recently broke up with um, my partner and starting school and I got a job. So it's a little bit ridiculous right now in my life. Uh, let's see, as for changes, my facial hair is actually getting a lot thicker. Uh, you can probably see it. Um, I shaved today, so like I trimmed down a little bit. I don't know if you can see that side. Um, my neck is getting a lot thicker in here, and I'm also my body fat distribution is a little bit different. I've noticed though that I'll, my biggest change has been more of me being comfortable with myself. Uh, I'm when I when I usually get dressed, I it, before it used to take me a long time to get dressed because I wanted to be able to not show off the things that I didn't like. I wanted to like show off my sh bigger shoulders, but because I have really sloped shoulders and all this other stuff. So, um, but yeah, I'm not really too worried about it anymore because I'm not really too worried about how the world perceives me because 99 to, a, no, actually 100% of the time, um, people see me as a biological male. I'm, it's crazy. A lot of times they just see me as a really gay dude. <laughs> um, so it, it's just, it's interesting. Sorry, my phone. <laughs> uh, yeah, and life is just pretty good right now. Um, like I'm, I'm a little stressed out with my job in school. I am taking three different classes. It's ceramics two, so you might be getting another one of those little uh, show off videos. Um, marriage and family relations, and uh, there's one more. Do do do. I know what it is. It's it's in my head somewhere. <laughs> um, and uh, speech. So hopefully my videos will start getting better and better through more of my uh, speeches that I learn. Um, yeah, I, I started a new job actually. I'm working at a um, adult store. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's interesting, especially with the major that I actually want to go into, which is sex therapy. So um, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's been a little stressful because every day that I'm not working, I'm going to school and vice versa. So, uh, it's not too bad though. I'm really enjoying life. Interesting thing actually happened with my life. It's kind of irrelevant, but um, the other day I got a call from my father and I haven't talked to him in three years. He has no idea that I'm trans. He had, or I mean, he might now that I've talked to him on the phone. He, um, the last time I talked to him, he ended up hanging up on me, crying and saying, you're not my fucking kid. Oh, sorry, excuse my words, but he's like, you're not my kid, um, you, uh, just get out of my life, you're not welcome anymore. And I've had a lot of issues with my father in the past with, um, with his drug abuse and him just being, he has borderline personality disorder, and so it's, um, he just doesn't really know how to communicate with people and understand other people's emotions other than his, his own. So... Um, but yeah, his call, he called me, he said, um, it took him a few minutes to believe that I was his kid. He, um, he called, he was like, hey, is my old name, blah, 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 is there, and like said it a few times, and I was like, finally, I was like, yeah, dad, it's me. He was like, wait, who's this? <laughs> and he, um, ended up finally, finally believing me, and, um, we ended up t t uh, hitting it off a little bit. He, um, he started to apologize for the shit that he's done to me in the past. He's been in prison now for three years. Um, and I still have yet to tell him that I'm trans. And it's pretty intense for me because I want for him so bad to understand me and to be able to embrace his new child. Um, the new happy, non-suicidal kid that he left. Um, he, um, he had no idea that I lived in Philadelphia for a year. He just is completely kind of disconnected from my life. Uh, so, I don't know. He, um, he wants, I was, the way I say about coming out to him would be, he can't, I have to, I can't call him, but he could call me. So pretty much anytime he calls me, just tell him, ask if he wants to get together to, if I want to go out to meet him, uh, visit him in prison. And, and just pretty much say, you know, on the phone, um, I would like to visit you, um, but just as a warning, I may not look the same way that I has that I that you remember. I um, since you've been in prison, 
I've started um, to medically change my sex, my gender, and um, and so I'm looking male. I am no longer the daughter that you left, the depressed daughter, and I'm very much happy with myself. And if you want to see me still, that's fantastic. I'd love to. But if not, I understand. Have a nice life. So that's where I'm at right now. And I really wish that he would take me in, but some part of me wishes that he would just completely cut me off. Because a lot of times I'm a lot healthier without him. Although I still have that hole in my chest, like in my heart, from where my father should be. Um, so, <laughs> on a kind of a dark note, but yeah. Hopefully everything works out, but I understand if it doesn't. He's he's not he hasn't been the most kind person to the queer origin people. Uh, he I I once said that he was the most homophobic racist asshole I've ever met in my entire life. He was raised by really um, white trash parents, so anyway. But now I'm just rambling. Um, but yeah, eight months on T or no, I'm sorry, seven months on T. Gonna be on eight months this week. Actually, I ran out of my testosterone, so. I'm still, this week I'm fine, but coming Thursday or Friday will be the start of my week without tea. So we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully it works out all right. Oh, here, um, yeah, you can't really see my shoulder as much, but my shoulders actually have changed. Hold on. Let me strip down for a second. But yeah, my, um, the way that they look, they're just, it's different. I got a little muscle in there. Um, my binder, so I'm not really going to take my shirt off. But yeah, it's... Just my entire way of me standing is different. It's kind of dark, so you can't really see. But yeah, like it's completely changed around my guns. I don't know. It, I'm digging it. It's pretty sick. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have a great week. And sorry, I haven't been updating much. It's been pretty crazy. My laptop's broken, and we don't have, <gasps> and we don't have Wi-Fi <laughs> in my parents' place. So. Um, send me a message on here um, if you'd like to. If you have any questions, maybe I'll do a Q and A video. Um, hopefully, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.